The Spotlight on Frazee is brought to you by the Frazee Forum, your locally owned and operated newspaper serving Frazee and Vergus. Frazee Family Foods, open 8 to 8, 7 days a week on East Main. And Economic Development Authority, helping business grow in the Frazee area. Welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here at Frazee High School today, District 23, with new superintendent, Chuck Cheney. Hi, Chuck. Hi, Hank. How are you? Tremendous. Always glad to see somebody come into our community from so far away, all the way over in North Dakota, in the North second Dakota. happiest state in the, in the Union. Absolutely it is. Absolutely it is. <laughs> we, uh, we also, though, own a, a lake home on, actually, on the east end of Lake Lida, so we're really only about 18 miles from from uh, door to door, so yeah, just west here. We're, we're interested. Uh, we're interested in being more of a part of this community after spending a lot of years in in the West Fargo community. Well, we're glad to have you. Uh, Chuck is our interim superintendent this year, and uh, uh, how many years have you been in education, Chuck? I've been in education. Uh, this is going to be about forty-five years, mm -hmm. Hank. Always uh, in administration. Then? Uh, I taught for seven years, mm -hmm. and then I went into. I became a middle school principal uh, when I was, I guess, about twenty-eight years old. The interesting group. The interesting <laughs> group. A very interesting group. Did that for a dozen years, and then after that, I was uh, either a, an assistant superintendent or a superintendent of schools. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we're happy that you have come to Frazee here and, you know, starting out the new school year and everything and getting kind of familiar with new staff and everybody. Any, uh, anything that uh, you'd like to, like to say to the TV3 people, you know, about uh, what we're up to in the District 23 this year? Well, I, I think that, I think that it's, it's obvious to me after being here, I started basically on August 1 and worked, uh, worked about half of the month of August mm -hmm. and now school begins, uh, going to be here on a, on, on a part-time basis. And uh, it's, it's interesting to me to see the kids come in today. And I've, I've walked through the halls, I've greeted them, I've, I went into the lunch rooms, I've been over at the elementary school. Uh, you can already get a good feel here mm -hmm. for uh, a great atmosphere. And I think an atmosphere that we can, that we can really build on to, uh, to assure the public that what's going on here is really, I think there's really some good educational processes here. And I'm excited about being part of it. Uh, the, uh, I, I think I'm interested in having uh, the folks in the district really focus in on the kind of programming we do with kids and the ways that we are trying to do our very best and, and develop what we will very simply call smart and good kids. And I mentioned to the staff when they first met them last Monday that, that uh, you know, we can boil down all of what we're trying to get accomplished in, that usually comes out in pages and pages and pages into, into the idea that I think what we want here is smart, smart kids, good kids, civil kids to one another. We hear a lot about bullying these mm -hmm. days. Uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's something that I, I, I believe this district should be able to, if we have some of it, it should be fairly easy to overcome. Uh, and then having kids that, that get out of here and are resilient, like you, Hank, I know that you've done a number of things over your life. <laughs> And what we want kids to do here is to get that, get that basic, very confident ability and feeling like they, they can do most anything, and then go out in the world and, uh, and be able to adjust and be able to change jobs and do the kind of things that people will do in the, in the years to come uh, that, that uh, where they're going to be comfortable doing it and they're not just going to fall apart when all of a sudden there's a, a change in, in what's coming down the line. Now, you've got to be adaptable. You do. You do. Uh, and have to be able to overcome this and think these things through. And, uh, and it helps if you have a good school background and, and you have friends and you have people you can go back to. I remember, I, you know, years. Well, I, I still talk to uh, my English teacher, which is uh, mm -hmm. uh, Ken Jacobson. Mm -hmm. uh, I had, had breakfast with him Friday down here at the restaurant. And so after... Uh, 45 years, I, I still talk to him. He, was, he didn't give me that bad a grade, so I guess I still think I'm going <laughs> But it's, uh, small schools, you know, we have such a large district area, and so we have kids from all kinds of backgrounds coming in. We, have, we still have farm kids, mm -hmm. and we have city kids, and then we have the ones that are, are just uh, rural. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we look forward to working with you. Uh, the city is always 
wants to work with a school district to the best of the ability of the people and the community in the area. And we look forward to having you on the show in the future. Thanks, Hank. And uh, we'll, we'll look forward to that as well. Anytime uh, we can help the public understand what we're trying to get accomplished here, we will uh, we'll look for the opportunity to come on your show. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you. And with that, we'll be right back with another segment of Spotlight on Frazee. The Spotlight on Frazee is brought to you by the City of Frazee. When booking your special event, they invite you to the Frazee Event Center. And United Community Bank, where you are among friends. Member FDIC. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here at Anderson Bus and Coach. Anderson Bus is a third generation company that has provided school bus service to District 23 for just about 80 years. And not only do they do school buses, but they also have nine luxury coaches that run people all over the country. They've taken our fire departments down to Twins Game. They've taken the Basin Commission up to Devil's Lake in North Dakota to look at projects there. And also, recently, they've lim uh, added a limo coach. But the main thing we're here to talk about today is school. It's the first day of school. The buses are going to be rolling here in just a minute as District 23 lets, uh, lets out this afternoon. But what I want you to start thinking about is the, seeing these big yellowish gold machines on the road. And when they stop, these flashers go on. All these lights, and these arms come out. What that means is that you're supposed to stop 200 feet behind this machine. And if you're on a two-lane highway, you also start 200 feet the other way because they're either picking up students or letting out students. Then you have to remember some of our kids are like this. You don't want to be in a situation where you accidentally run into a child. Three years ago, two blocks from here, we had a child hit by a lady who went around a school bus while the child was getting off the bus. Fortunately, there were no serious damage to the child. But I want you to be aware, school's on. You need to take extra precaution because it's not only going to be the kids out at the end of the driveway. Their dog's going to be out there. And their dog is going to be watching them go to the school bus, and he's going to be sitting there probably three hours before they get home waiting for him to get there. So watch out for their pets. Watch out for the kids. Watch out for the buses. And right now we have nice weather, but it isn't always going to be that way. We know how Minnesota is. We'll be going later to ice and snow. So just stay a little extra alert. Don't be on autopilot when you're that last 10 miles from home. Think about what's going on around you. Be aware that there's other people out there and maybe you can take a couple minutes less to get to where you're going or a couple minutes more to get to where you're going, which will keep you out of an accident and keep some child's family from having to see them at the hospital or worse. So with that, think school's on. Look out for the big gold buses. Pay attention to kids and animals. Go home, hug your wife, kiss the kids, pet the dog, and wave at the neighbor. And with that, we'll catch you next week on Spotlight on Crazy. <laughs>